Interested in knowing how to bounce back from low vibration every time? If that's the case, then do keep on watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post a new video on self-mastery, spiritual awakening and higher consciousness. So how do you bounce back from low vibration every time? This is something I go through constantly where I dip into lower vibration and I just want to say that that is absolutely okay. It is normal to get into lower vibration even if you have been mostly in higher vibration in your life then it, it is normal that sometime you would dip into the lower vibration because we are human and it is natural so I just want to say that first for you to be aware of secondly I used to be in low vibration all the time and that was because the environment I used to live in and the people I was surrounded with who were toxic and that kept me in lower vibration and that changed when I had uh, my spiritual awakening in 2019 and when the shift happened I started feeling that joy, happiness, abundance and peace and that was my consistent feeling and emotion in most days but I would dip into lower vibration however as I have grown in my spiritual journey it has become less and less likely for me to be in lower vibration however it, it does it still happen because we live in an environment where there's a lot of things we rely on external forces external things people projects and there's other energies are involved and you're not on your own in this world there's all types of energy so sometimes those energy pulls us back sometimes it is that the the amount of overwhelm or the stress or the frustration builds because of too much overworking as well so all those factors do come into play when it is about your own personal frequency because even though we do work very much if you are in personal growth you would be working on yourself consistently and you are improving yourself consistently and you probably working on your uh, being into a higher frequency but because of there are external factors it does happen that we dip into the lower vibration so with me i tend to get into lower vibration when things are not going according to my plan or if i am planning to do something and that doesn't happen because of external factor or there's a lot of uh, work and which is stressing me and there's I've, I've overworked and I'm stressed or frustrated about something that's when I get into the lower vibration uh, that's what I've noticed and reflected and become aware of so uh, something which really recently happened where I fell into lower vibration and because I was stressed about something and that really put me into that negative mindset and I remember like I was consistently having that negative thinking and I couldn't sleep and I was uh, really consistently thinking about the same scenario over and over you know that when that happened in our mind where we keep thinking about the same thing over and over and that causes more frustration and anger so when you get into that zone of negative thinking and you have that spiral of negative thought over and over and which is making you more angry and more frustrated and that keeps happening I was in that space and uh, when I, I usually meditate every day and that's something I do regardless of the emotions I'm feeling regardless of how I am I this is a habit which I'm I've been doing consistently for a number of years where I meditate every single day so I was meditating on this negative thinking and I was just sitting in silence 30 minutes into that meditation 
I was really focused on why I keep getting into lower vibration, why I'm getting into, uh, I'm get feeling stuck in this negative thoughts, which I don't want to feel or I don't want to think about. And that's when realization occurred that we need to allow ourselves to feel whatever we are feeling. And that's how I felt. I felt like I need to let go of that need to be in higher vibration. I need to let go of that need to be always perfect or I need to let go of that need to be uh, that that scenario, whatever happened, which is making me frustrated, uh, needs to be perfect or needs to change because every event, every scenario, every situation is teaching us something. So that realization occurred and every challenge and every frustration is a learning curve. Every, uh, everything which you don't, we don't want is trying to help us to grow even more. And those realization occurred. That's when I felt that I need to let this go. I need to let go of the need to be in higher vibration and I need to stop judging myself for being in a lower vibration. And that's the key point. You need to stop judging yourself when you are in low vibration because it's an emotion. Whether it's a negative or a positive, it's an emotion and that emotion is within your body. So we need to accept that emotion that exists because when we do not accept and we are judging that emotion, then we are really resisting that emotion and whatever you resist persists so it is extremely important to realize that you need to allow that emotion to be in your body to be present and to be seen that's extremely important that emotion wants to be seen and when we deny it when we control it when we we cover it under the carpet when we don't talk about it when we don't feel it we are suppressing it and we are resisting it so that's when that spiral happens because the more you resist you will keep thinking about it and it does just doesn't work therefore you need to allow that emotion to be there and accept it and let it be there and just tell yourself uh, i'm allowed to feel frustrated and i'm allowed to feel angry and once you process that emotion once it releases because it is seen uh, by because you are seeing that emotion that's when it releases and once it releases that's when you can bounce back from your lower vibration to your normal vibration higher frequency so are you resonating with these points if that's the case then do hit that like button and comment below and let me know your thoughts on if you have been in a lower vibration and what kind of emotions do you feel what kind of frustration you feel mostly what kind of specific emotions you feel so like i was saying that when you are feeling negative emotion allow yourself to feel it because when you feel it that's when you heal it so it's important to feel those emotions and take responsibility for your feelings whether it's negative or positive do not judge your emotions that would help you to release it once you release it you will bounce back to higher vibration or higher frequency which is your usual frequency Another point to note is that it is important to be aware of your pattern and be mindful of that. What causes you low vibration? What causes you negative thinking? What really affects you? Who affects you? What do they say which affects you? What triggers you into a lower vibration? Becoming aware of it, becoming conscious of it would allow you to set you free in a sense that every time you get into that negative zone there will be that consciousness that click well oh it is happening because that person said this that's why i'm triggered i'm triggered by that word or that uh, event or that emotion which probably related to my past probably related to my childhood and there's some trauma related to that word that phrase that uh, person 
something to do with that that is what is maybe triggering you in a way so that you're going into a lower vibration so becoming aware of your pattern is extremely important usually when we are getting into a low, negative emotion and lower vibration or getting angry frustrated sad usually there is unhealed wound and trauma within our body which is triggering these emotions and usually what we need to do is become aware of it and allow yourself to really see that and it takes time to be able to see that but slowly the more you become conscious the more you become mindful you will be able to see okay so you know that person said this and i got really upset but it's not related to that person directly it's related to the the reason or the feeling i had when i was 5 years old and I, uh, someone treated me in a certain way and that uh, that trauma is, is is still present and is still affecting me and because now that person has said something made me feel in a certain way it is triggering that that 5 year old me who hasn't been healed yet does that make sense so it is very important that to realize and become aware of it because the more you become aware of it the more you will you will be able to heal your traumas your your wounds and allow yourself to to feel free and it's quite a liberating feeling to become aware of it acknowledge it accept it and uh, it will really help you to bounce back from lower vibration so this is all i wanted to say in this video like this video if you like this video and subscribe to the channel and may the light in me reaches the light in you